what is your favorite match that you were involved in? Oh, that I was involved in. Yes. Oh, that that makes it tougher because there's blow been... out your knees. Well, yeah, that I didn't get hurt. That would be a good thing. Um, favorite for different reasons. It wasn't the greatest match, but the first time I main evented the Superdome, it was the Midnight Express against Junkyard Dog and Bill Watts in the last stampede, and we we came five thousand dollars short of the gate record. Damn that Michael Hayes and Junkyard Dog in 1980. Uh, but that was because I'm. 22 years old and I'm in the main event of the Superdome. It was a rotten match because Dog was under the weather at that point and, and Watts had come out of retirement and was not in, he, he tore his, <laughs> we had 14 of these matches, right? After the first three, because Watts hadn't wrestled in three years, he tore his hamstring kicking Dennis Condry in the head. And so then he had to tape the hamstring up. So then he's walking around, but, but this is, we're setting gate records in every town in the territory. So it's not a a possibility he's not going to show up so he comes in with his hamstring taped and the boys just had to run into him and he didn't have hit one here hit one there and hit one there um one of my favorite matches of all time was at the southern boys in at the baltimore bash in 1990 because the southern boys in baltimore right people are like you know we don't care and they were wanting to, to like the midnight express but we got them back at the end and and they gave the match a standing ovation and, and enjoyed the Southern boys by the time it was over with too because they could wrestle they just had a horrible gimmick for Baltimore but uh, that was that was one of the better matches we're in anything with the rock and roll and some with the fantastics it's hard to pick just one favorite one my favorite match of all time to watch Jerry Lawler and Terry Funk March 23rd 1981 the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum I was there live it that's what broke the scale by the way when my friend Weasel Dooley invented the rating scale that Meltzer admits that too, that Meltzer stole, because I gave him the idea. We were talking on the phone one night and I was reading his list of matches that he had had, had the results for typed up and everything, but also I was reading the TV guide. I said, Norman, I said, you ought to rate these matches like they do, joking, right? Like they do the, the, star, the star ratings in the movies in a TV guide. And he said, yeah, that's an idea. He started doing it and Meltzer stole it. And now, but the, the Lawler and Funk match was the one that broke the scale because be, before then it was just up to four stars. But since that was so much better than anything we'd ever seen before, we gave that five stars. Where was so that one? That, Memphis, March 23rd. It's, it's, the, it's the count out that's on YouTube because I saved, before they recorded over it, I saved the full length tape and it's out there. Um, and uh, it was just, it was so bloody and so wild. And, and you see when Lawler has, has the chair and he's bashing Funk as Funk's trying to crawl down the aisle and get away, the women in the front row seats are, are backing up over the back of the seats, horrified, and there's blood flying. Oh my God, this is real. You know, and they, just, they had him. And it was just, it was chaos. And now, of course, now Melters, I love Dave. I've been friends with him forever, but he likes this flippy shit and whatever the fuck these guys are doing these days. And he, he broke the Lawler funk scale with Kenny Omega. Holy Jesus Christ. If I could, if I'd had something to eat today, I could muster up in my hand what I think of Kenny Omega. But unfortunately I haven't eaten, so it would probably just stink, but there wouldn't be anything that you could see from it. But anyway, I digress.